Hello. Hi, I'm Louise and we're at the sleep store today talking about winter sleeping bags and answering all your questions about what sleeping bag you should use, what you should use with your sleeping bag, uh, room temperatures, all your questions. So if you have any questions uh, now, post them on the below where I'm talking <laughs> um, and you can post them anytime and James will read them out so we can answer all of those questions. We're going to have some giveaways, which will be nice. Um, and we're going to show you all of these lovely winter sleeping bags so you can choose the right one for your little person. So first of all, uh, we have a question about TOG ratings. Uh, jo, who's our customer service manager, reports she's had many, many questions about TOG ratings every day. So we thought we would cover that off first. So basically TOG rating, it's a measure of how warm sleeping bags are. TOG rating is used on other products like duvets, the duvet inners, but for us our focus is on some swaddles and a lot of our sleeping bags. So I'll just get some to compare. So just basically the lower the number, the, the cooler the bag, the higher the number, the warmer the bag. So this is one of our sleep store cotton bags here, and this is a one tog. So if you can see, it's two layers of t-shirt weight fabric. So a one tog, to make it easy, think of it as one blanket, one light blanket, two layers of t-shirt fabric. So a 0.5 tog is um, <clears throat> half as warm as that, generally made out of um, one layer of this sort of fabric or two layers of like sheet fabric. And then something like this is a 2.5. So a 2.5 um, is a warmer bag. It's normally got some sort of filling. So this one is um, is an ergo pouch. So the filling in this one, see the cotton or bamboo, the wadding is organic cotton. So this one's got, um, got cotton for its wadding and other ones like um, a grow bag Oh, this has confused me with the sides. <laughs> so something like this, you can see it's also quilted, but the padding and the warmth comes from a quick dry polyester. So, um, yeah, this is a 3.5 tog bag. It's a bit hard to, to see the difference, but this is a little thicker um, than the 2.5. And so the warmth will come from all of the fabric, not just the filling. So um, this one, this one has got quite nice thick cotton inside and out plus the cotton filling this has got quite a thin lining but a fatter filling so it kind of is the combination of all of the layers that make up the warmth um, so one thing you get with tog rating um, is a pretty narrow window of um, temperature range that you can use the bag in so if we look at this ergo pouch it would be recommended for about 16 to 20 degrees um, and then it will have a little guide of what clothing to use um, at what room temperature. So pretty much all bags that come with a TOG rating will have some kind of guide um, of what you can use with them. And a lot of bags, um, as you'll see with this Ergo pouch, also come with um, a room thermometer. They're an approximate um, guide, and like this one here, it's showing 20 and 22, so it's probably the temperature somewhere in between. <clears throat> Similar to our wool babes will come with, oh look, our 21, look at that, on our wool babe thermometer. And grow bags come with a thermometer in the small two sizes, but not in the 18 to 36 month one, which confused us greatly when they made that change. Oh, where's my hair? Okay, so if you have any questions about TOG rating, post them below, but basically, yeah, the bigger the number, the warmer the bag, the smaller the number, um, down to normally 0.5 is the smallest rated bag, sometimes 0.3. You wouldn't be able to tell the difference. There's really no difference between a 0.3 and a 0.5 TOG bag. They'll both be about one layer of quite thin material. Okay, so... Is it? Is it, is it better to have a um, higher tog sleeping bag and light pyjamas or heavier pyjamas and a lighter tog sleeping bag? 
Right, so James's question, I guess you've heard James's question since he's standing right next to the phone. Um, so you can do any combination really, you can use a thick bag like this is our duvet wool babe, which is um, pretty much the snuggliest bag in the world, we're not biased at all. So the duvet wool babe has a thick layer of wool filling, merino wool filling, so um, it's the only bag we sell that has the wool filling, others have polyester or cotton. Um, to pad them out but this is merino inside so you could use that at 21 degrees which is um, what we have now um, you could just use this with a bodysuit um, if you were using our three seasons bag which is this one here um, you could use this with something warmer where's the zip oh this one's got no zip it's a trick just kidding so this is a similar sort of mid-weight, two layers of merino and cotton together. If you're using the three season at 21, it also says long sleeve bodysuit. I'd probably put pants as well. I don't hear I'm not reading it right. I'm blind. Long sleeve bodysuit and pants. So basically pyjamas. So with this one, you just probably don't need anything on the legs with this one. Move up to, um, you know, a warmer all-in-one or something like that. So... Yes, you can use a lighter weight bag and warmer clothing inside, and you can use a warmer bag and less inside. And then as the room gets cooler, you want a warm bag and warm clothes, and with this one you would go as the temperature gets warmer, you would use this bag or a lighter weight bag and light clothes or no clothes. Right. Merino organic cotton or bamboo, is there a... Is there a best option or is it a best, best options of wool babe? Because <laughs> we're not biased at all. So um, which fabric is best? Merino is always going to be the best option because merino helps to re regulate temperature and merino um, works quite differently to something like polyester filling where it has a narrow range and you need to get the clothing right or your baby will be too cold or they'll be hot and sweaty. But merino um, you can use it over a wide range and as James said just vary the amount of clothing inside um, That's why we love the wool bag because it's actually quite hard to get it wrong You know, it's it, the guide is an approximate guide and you just put some more clothes on if your baby feels cold um, But it's really like I used wool babe with my kids for years and I never found that they were too hot even in the middle of summer using this great bag in my nursery at the time was about 30 degrees and their head might be sweaty, but when you unzipped it, they were always just right inside the bag. Um, so for, for me, I would always recommend you choose a bag that has merino, either merino filling or some merino um, in the bag. Um, next, I would choose a um, 100% cotton bag. So um, the beautiful ones from Ergo Pouch are either all cotton or they're cotton and bamboo. Um, and for me, I would choose that. But then I've also used grow bags with my kids. Um, you know, we have lots of bags that have polyester filling, and they're also brilliant, and they have their own benefits. So a bag with a polyester filling will dry far quicker than one that's got cotton filling. That will take the longest to dry, in my personal experience. Um, you can, if you have a bag that's got polyester filling, you don't have to use wool wash. You don't have to worry about the temperature that you wash and dry it at. You just treat it like any of your other clothes and so if um, you have really bad allergies and you have to hot wash things you probably will it's not the best option because your bag will go and end up very small um, but if you have a, a polyester filled bag like a grow bag you can wash and dry that and pay it no attention and it'll look after itself almost uh, but on that note also wool filled bags need to be washed a lot less so a wool babe you pretty much just need to air it out over the side of the cot and you know only wash it if it's got something gross on it don't just wash it because you feel like you need to do more washing because none of us need to do more washing once we have children and what would you recommend to wash what would you wash it with what kind of oh so if you have merino bags wool babes or a babu merino bag or um one of our sleep store 100% merino bags, which I'm going to show you in a minute, then you should use a liquid wool wash. I would use, I would use with all my merino, the Eco Store um, liquid wool wash. I just wash it normally on a gentle cycle, and we have lots of 
um, across our family of six, we have lots of icebreaker and sleep store merino, and we just love merino. So we just do a whole load. And if there's other things like undies or socks or whatever, they will just get the wool wash as well. So yeah, good liquid wool wash. Don't be fooled um, into buying like a powdered laundry a laundry powder that's got some kind of green sounding name. There's a lot of products that sound like they're gentle just from the branding, but it needs to be a liquid wool wash if you're using it with the wool product. Okay, so moving on, um, we're going to look at the Grow Egg next. So if, um, you know, for a lot of people, a little basic room thermometer like this is perfectly adequate to help you guide what clothes to wear and, and kind of you know, give you an idea of how warm your baby's room is. But if you want to know a bit more precisely, come this way, Georgie. And we're going to sneak down under here together. <laughs> oh, look, it also says 21. We win. <laughs> Um, so this is the grow egg and the grow egg changes colour and tells you if your baby's room is too hot, too cold or just right, like the three little bears. So when it's orange, um, it's over 20. Um, if it's yellow, it's 16 to 20, which is the ideal room temperature range for babies. Um, and if it's blue, <laughs> it's chilly. <laughs> so if you go and if your baby wakes up screaming in the night, and you go in and the egg is blue, it's a bit cold. That's probably why they're screaming. <laughs> so yeah, I had um, a different room in our house. Actually, they're the same room that was in the summer 30 degrees. In the winter, it got down to 12. <laughs> it was very hard to heat because it was glass on two sides. <laughs> so that used to glow blue quite often. We've got a special on on the grow egg coming this weekend. Is that we active do. now? It is active now, yeah. It's on the website now. What's the deal, James? 25% uh, off the grow egg. 25% off the grow egg. They are really brilliant. They're not bright enough to use as a night light. They just make a nice little coloured glow. But for kind of walking in and seeing, aha, that's the problem, it's really good. It's got the digital display as well as the colour. I didn't used to look at the numbers too much. This is to go by, oh, it's blue. More clothes. We've got a couple of questions about when you would start using a sleeping bag. Okay. What, what ages and, and... We'll cover that now. Yeah. And then we'll get on to looking at the feet. So what age? Um, some, some babies will go straight into a sleeping bag, uh, but more common is to swaddle for, say, the first three months, and then once the startle wears off, then you can transition to a sleeping bag. If you do want to use a sleeping bag from day one, um, Ergo Pouch do a really beautiful little miniature version of this. So this is a bag, but they do one called an Ergo Cocoon Sleep Sack Swaddle, something like that, and it has domes along the armholes. Not on this one, you just have to imagine. <laughs> Imaginary domes, um, and so you can use it with the arms in, and then as you transition you can take the arms out, or you can use the arms out from, from first of all. Um, we have quite a few like that actually. Grow bag do a tiny little really cute grow bag that's got domes, and they also do zero to six month grow bag, which is a good one from newborn too. So pretty much go into a bag um, once your child starts wriggling. So once they're moving, they're getting out of their swaddle, um, or they're rolling, um, as soon as your baby's rolling, move to a sleeping bag is the safest option. Yeah. I don't even know what... Oh, they're coming. I've got one question about whether it's to put the baby in the bag before they're in the cot or when they're in the cot. Oh, I don't think that matters, actually. I think you just go with what you go with? That's not a very good answer. Um, if you want a really safe option and your baby's not being swaddled any longer, then go for a bag and put them in the bassinet, in a bag. Um, I had a question actually on somewhere that I answered some ungodly hour of the morning about six o'clock this morning and someone was asking could they tuck the sleeping bag into the bassinet because it's quite, you know, that, if you look at that, that's longer than a bassinet plus you have to fit the baby. So I would say rather than tuck it in, tuck it underneath, um, because then if your baby does wriggle around, they're not restrained, but if you tuck the sleeping bag physically into the mattress to try and stop them moving, they could actually end up getting twisted around. So I think that's the safer option, just tuck the excess length um, underneath the baby, and then it's just an extra woolly layer to lie on. <laughs> okay, so now we might look at oh the two-way zip. 
Yes, so this is another straight after Joe's toll grating questions. I think our second most popular email at the moment is, um, I think my zip's broken. Um, you sold me a sleeping bag with a zip that doesn't work, or how do I use this zip? So let me show you about um, two-way zip. So bags that have a two-way zip will look like this. So two zip pulls. And usually the reason they have a two-way zip is because they have a travel slot on the back. And the purposes of, purpose of that is when you're out and about, using a push chair primarily, you can put the five-point harness through the hole in the back and then you feed it through here. So that's where the buckle comes through, harness there. So in terms of the zip, most sleeping bag zips close at the top, like this. So close at the top under the chin and then zip away down to the bottom. And the reason for the zips closing at the bottom is so it's away from your chin. So you want as you don't want a bulky zip pull sticking out by your child's chest or their throat. That could be uncomfortable. Um, so you get a nice zipper garage over the top, something to cover the end of the zip, this part here. Or if you're lazy like me, you probably never actually pulled that over. <laughs> but you can, um, and then the zip comes away. And the other benefit of having the zip at the bottom is it's away from the little fiddly fingers. So if the zip's up here, children will be drawn to it and they'll be fiddling, but if it's down here, um, for a lot of them, their arms aren't that long, so it's out of reach. Um, so there's other sorts of zips. Some zips do finish at the top, but not very many. Um, and then also we have side zips, which come... Also a double-ended zip, so you can open it just from the bottom to change the nappy. And all the way around. But it's the opposite in that it, you don't have to close the zip and then zip it down. Any other questions about zips, James? Do let me know. Um, we covered side zips and front zips. Side zips. So, um... Yeah, that's the two sorts of zips that I just showed you. Which is better, I guess, is maybe what the question is. I don't know. Personally, I like a front zip. Um, this is like four more things to do. Four more things to put on a wriggly child. I liked front zips for my kids, but equally, lots of people like a side zip. It's personal preference. There's no right or wrong. There's no, you know, which one's better. It's just which one you prefer. Probably one of the um, benefits of the side zip, one thing I do really like about a side zip, particularly with a wool babe, is that you can open it out. Remember I said about don't wash it very often, just air it out. So a side zip opens out almost completely. So for hanging that over the side of the cot, like that, it's really easy. And also if you're doing... If your baby's so little and you're doing lots of nappy changes still, the side zip's definitely easier because you can get it open quite a lot more without taking the whole bag off. So for me, that's the kind of main benefits of the side zip and the front zip. <coughs> if you're doing a nappy change, you, you probably need to open more of the bag and wriggle your baby's legs out and do it that way. But for me, the real advantage of... Zip, 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 zip. <laughs> the real advantage of a front zip on a wriggly child is all you're doing is zip and down. You're not having to do the shoulders as well. So as kids get bigger, uh, definitely a front zip is more escape proof. So if you're buying a bag for a toddler, say over 18 months, I would go for a front zip every time. Because a, a toddler can actually work out how to stand on the bag and pop these open. And my Tom, who's 11 now, he was notorious for um, popping open the domes and throwing the bag over the side if he didn't want to go to bed. So that was when I lost my enthusiasm for side zips. <coughs> okay, anything else on any of those, James? I think it might be time for a giveaway if there's no more questions. What do you think? That's good. Should I ask the question? Yes, yes. What should we give away? Should we give away a wool babe? Or should we give away a wool babe later? I think we'll give away a 
Let's give away a three seasons wool bag now. So if you would like to win this beautiful Rata Red Three Seasons sleeping bag, you can just comment now with the name of the colour of this bag. I did just tell you. Did you remember, everybody? <laughs> it's like a quiz, like a test. Okay, so while you're entering to win this beautiful bag whose colour shall remain nameless, I'm going to show you how other ways that you can use this bag. <coughs> Because one of the other um, questions that we get really often is, I only want to buy one bag. I don't want to buy a winter bag and a summer bag and a middle of the year bag. I just want one bag. <laughs> we understand that. So we've put together this combo, um, which is on our website now. And we think it's pretty snuggly and delicious. And it's our fleece merino onesie. So this is, have a look in there. Oh, look at that lovely fleecy yumminess. So that's a winter weight sleep suit that you can use by itself and in bigger kids who kick off their bedding it's perfect just by itself they'll stay warm even if all their duvets kicked off but that together is pretty much how you can get one bag that lasts you all year round because in the summer you can use the bag with just the nappy um, in the middle of the year you can use it with a cotton bodysuit or um, just light pajamas and then at this time of the year use it with this beautiful thick 100% merino fleece and that's your kind of year-round combo if you don't fancy buying a warmer bag that's your kind of all your options right have you got some entries coming in James yeah, thick and fast. fast we like it okay we'll come back to that in a minute okay and one other option for that too that you could do if you have a one tog sleeping bag this is our brand new really cute grey hearts organic cotton sleep store bag which we think is pretty adorable as well a cotton bag particularly this one because James put them on a really good special even though they're brand new James um, James has put this particular bag on a really good deal for you so if you've got a onesie one of our merino onesies I'm going to trash Georgie's beautiful display by removing everything and making up little combinations for you um, you could also, you know, do a mid-weight cotton bag and put your onesie inside. So this is 100% cotton, whereas the wool babe's got some merino in it, 30% merino. So this combo will be warmer. This combo's a bit cheaper. So just go with what you like. But again, it's a it's a kind of a mid-weight sleeping bag. Don't try doing these upside down. They're really quite fiddly. If you're, you, know, you wouldn't be at this angle with your child. So that's again another option for doing a merino suit with your cotton bag, the lighter weight bag. And we think our um, suits are pretty, pretty jolly cute. And if you've been thinking about getting one of our merino onesies, don't shilly shally because some of the sizes are already selling out. I think in size three, I think we've only got one colour option out of seven left, so they are going. Do we have a winner, James? We do. Who's our winner? Danelle Sutherland. Danelle Sutherland, you win the Rata bag. Not the suit, just the bag. <laughs> <laughs> but it looks nice with the suit. Um, so James will be in touch with you to let you know how you can claim your ball bag. Okay, so now we're going to dive into looking at um, one of these here. Are we? Are we not? I'm actually, I've got other things I meant to tell you first. What to dress your little one in? Did we talk about that Maybe already? Maybe we've kind of covered that more. We've covered that. Here's some other options. <laughs> what you can put inside your wool bags. So we're sort of trying to grow our own range of things that work really well with sleeping bags. So there's the, that's your thickest option. Here's our little cute wool babe sleep suits these are also selling out really fast I think the six to twelve months are nearly all gone <coughs> here's some of our beautiful um, sleep store merino singlets this beautiful blue one these go up to a size 14 years so as big as my biggest child and then down to these little really sweet little singlets and singlet suits so cute and then that's wool babe pajamas in our sleep store merino so all of these are really good snuggly temperature regulating options for in your bags and they also have the benefit that you can wear these during the day too <laughs> it's just a top 
maybe not the jammy pants out in public. Okay, so one other question that had come up earlier is sleeves versus no sleeves um, versus using a bag with different arm warmers. So, yeah, there's lots of different options. So here's one option is just wear something warmer in your bag. Here are another range of other products which you can put on over the top of a sleeping bag. Um, particularly this one here is really thick. So that's the equivalent of a 2.5 tog sleeping bag, but just on the arms. So this cleverly fits around. I was going to show you, but it's not quite my size. If you can imagine, I was really small and wearing a sleeping bag like this. So this just goes around behind your shoulders. There's a wee picture on there. Oh, there's a picture. You didn't need to see me demonstrating it. But it was good. It was pretty good. It's just not my size. So yeah, if you have a, um, a warm sleeping bag, so a, you know, a 2.5 tog sleeping bag, and you just feel like your baby's arms are too cold, you can just add one of those over the top. Generally with a sleeping bag, the main thing is to get the core of the body warm. So layer up with bodysuit, singlet, a warm sleeping bag. It doesn't really affect this baby's sleep if their arms, or their, particularly their hands, are cold. But if you do want something just to pop over the top of the bag, those are some good options. Um, and then I guess whether you use a bag with something like this or just a sleeveless bag or a bag with sleeves, a sleeveless bag is going to be way more versatile because you can add things to it, but you can't cut the sleeves. We could cut the sleeves off a bag if it's too hot. So I think we do have a number of bags with sleeves, which I'll show you in a second, but they're for really cold places. So down south, I don't know, where's the coldest place? Maybe Taupo. <laughs> Taupo's pretty chilly in the winter. You know, you kind of central plateau down south where it gets really cold. Or if you have a bedroom which is consistently under 16 degrees and you just can't get it warmer, then go for a bag with sleeves because it will, um, it's more kind of all in inclusive no whatever however you would just like it traps the warmth in more um, and so you it's got to be genuinely really cold because the underarm and the sleeveless bags that's to release temp, release heat and stop your baby from overheating so you don't don't use a sleeve warm sleeved bag particularly a, a polyester filled one unless it's really cold and we don't do them for under six months anyway because at the little ages really need you need to watch the temperature carefully okay so i'm going to dive into all these bags now we've already had a look at wool babes but this here has been the total breakout hit for wool babe like that um this is called dusk and we've got only a few boxes of dusk left and then no more dusk until september so if you're thinking of dusk now is the time so you will miss dusk until next season Okay, this is a little sneaky peek. I might just... Oh, now I've made all these combos, I can't really hang them back up. Maybe here somewhere. Sorry, Georgia, I've trashed your beautiful table. That's what it was made for. <laughs> <laughs> so this here is a sneaky peek. The first shipment of these is due in about two weeks. If you recognise this beautiful 100% merino fleece, um, this is what our onesies are made out of, but we've turned it around so the fluffy side is, is hidden. Um, and this is also 100% merino, so we think this bag is the first of its kind anywhere in the world that we know of. Because, you know, know every sleeping bag in the world, but there's nothing like this in New Zealand um, or Australia or anywhere else we've looked. So it's, I think from memory it's about 500 grams of merino thickness. So this is 220 gram on the outside and 280 um, on the inside, combined to make a very, very lush bag. So these are coming very soon in this colour, which if you remember our range from summer, we had white with the black line, so it's nice bag. So we do have still have sheets um, and swaddles and different things in this design in the organic cotton. So this is coming in the black and white and also Georgie's favourite colour combination <laughs> of the grey and orange. So in the sleeping bag it's grey marl and the detailing is in this beautiful tangerine colour. 
So we'd love to know what you think of this because I have to place my orders for next winter and I'm thinking that maybe in this kind of um, jacquard knit we need lots of other things like maybe onesies like this. Mm. How much? How much? The big question. I can't remember. <laughs> No idea. No, I think they're they're similar to a duvet wool babe. Um, so I think they're about 170 in in the 500 grams of merino. And there's not many coming. It's just a little experiment to see if you like it. Okay, so we've had a look. That's the Ugo pouch um, that you've seen. Oh, I did have to tell you something about the Ugo pouch, and that's that they have a very small neck. So how can I say this politely? If your baby has a chunky neck, this is not the bag for you. <laughs> I've got is a couple of babies enough? down there if you wanted to <laughs> pop the baby on. in. Yeah. Not a real one. <laughs> Just in case anyone's Here's concerned. Here's my baby that I threw on the ground <laughs> earlier. Okay, so the Ugo pouch, um, they have quite a different fit to other bags. They have, um, they're much slimmer in the body. Much, much slimmer in the body and all the way down. Oh, Ergo pouch have their zips up this way, the zipper pull is at the top. That baby's quite chunky actually when you see it there, it's quite fat. So you can see here, this comes right up under the chin. So yeah, it's it's quite a different fit. Skinny through here, much higher up here, and that, really, that design really stems from their swaddles where they wanted it escape proof so the hands couldn't go up through there. So that's Ergo Pouch. Beautiful little bag. How much are these ones, James? About 60 or 70 dollars. They're really good. Um, Around 80, I think. They're a really good price for the amazing quality and the fact that they're all organic. We really like it. It's a new, it's a new style for Ergo Pouch and it just comes in this size, which is 8 to 24 months. It's quite little for 8 to 24 months, like if you compare it to our wool babe which is also to 24 months, um, but ours is quite big. <laughs> right, so now we're going to look at some grow bags. Grow bags the top, um, top selling sleeping bag brand from the UK and sold all around the world and we've sold grow bags for, goodness me, it must be coming up for about 10 years now. So grow are um, available in 0.5 tog, 1 tog, 2.5 and 3.5 so lots of options they come with the room thermometer it's only in the packaging not attached uh, some of them are travel bags with the slot some are not um, some are side zip so there's lots of options with grow um, lots of different cute designs have even got all Achille, um designs this year which are really beautiful you have to be quick because the first slot we got in sold out in about a week um, in the summer togs what else about grow bags? Uh, grow bags are really, really good quality. So um, while they are a cotton polyester filled bag, they are amazing quality. We go seasons without getting a single one back with a return, like the zips are indestructible. Um, the fabric is really high quality. So with grow, you're paying for the fact that it's a top of the range bag in you know, all regards. And it's really cute too. Okay, then we will have a look at um, a good one to compare with Grow is our Slumber Sack brand. Slumber Sack is also a UK brand and um, it's available exclusively from the sleep store in New Zealand. The thing about a Slumber Sack is it's really, really good price. You know, it's um, if you're comparing directly with Grow, I think the Slumber Sack's fabric is probably not quite as nice. Um, the zips are not a branded zip, so they're not a YKK zip, um, but they have passed all the testing in terms of, you know, I think it must be a machine, not a person, <laughs> zips are back and forth quite a few thousand times. So the zips pass, um, and on all those measures they are equal to a, to a YKK zip, just not a branded zip. Um, yeah, the, like, we don't change the designs very often, you kind of, with a slumber sack, it's a pretty simple, basic uh, option, but they're a really good quality bag. And um, our summer 
lumber sacks start from about $25. The winter ones are more, but they're still kind of half the price of, of these kind of um, better known brands. So if you're on a budget, start look by looking at slumber sacks. We're all on a budget, but you know, if you're on a really tighter budget. Um, or if you're looking for a backup bag, like if you send a bag to daycare every day and you don't really want to send you know, a $179 wool babe to daycare in case someone else takes it home, you know, look at a slumber sack for that kind of backup option as well. Um, they'll do the job for you really well. And there's actually some really cute designs, like this beautiful stripe that comes in pink or blue. There's an aqua stars. There's this really cute forest friends is the top selling design with a cute little reverse print and, and really sweet applique on the front. So... That one particularly is really sweet. That comes in a three and a half tog sleeved as well, doesn't it? That it one? does. Yeah, which I think we've got an example yeah. of that. So this year, um, due to customer demand really, we've added more of the sleeved lumber sacks. So pretty much all our 3.5 tog lumber sacks this year have the sleeve. So yeah, really snugly plush padded option. Any other questions coming up, James? Uh, we've got questions about transitioning to, to a sleeping bag from a lap to swaddle up. I think we might have covered that in another video. In another so video. So okay. we might link that in the comments later oh, today. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm actually going to, there's a post going out tonight about that. Okay. Okay, so keep an eye on our page for that. Um, this is, we're just, we're just about through all our bags here, but I'll just quickly show you through the others. This is Nature Baby bag so this is nature baby's warmest bag they also do one which is um one layer of organic cotton and one layer of merino which we would consider a, like a mid-weight bag it's equivalent to our three seasons or a, sort of a bit warmer than a one tog but this is the um, top of the range winter bag so you can see it's got very it's very thick and padded it's quilted um, so it's organic cotton on the outside and in the filling and then merino lining. So that's the merino lining on the inside there. Just comes in that colour. But if you're a Nature Baby fan and you want a 100% organic option with some merino, this is your best choice. Um, what else? Okay. Let's, um some sleeved options and this is actually the same product tricky <laughs> so this is our um, clever friends at ergo pouch um, developed this product a couple of years ago to answer that kind of question of my child likes a sleeping bag now but I think they're gonna start climbing out of bed or I think they like a bag but maybe they won't stay in a bag all those kind of what ifs um, and also a lot of people just buy this just to use as a sleep suit so if you can see there, it's got um, some zips, and I'm going to attempt to show you how to zip it, turn it into a sleeping bag. Ah, oh, James! <laughs> so, no, I think I got it. Did I get it? Yeah. So you just alternate which one you zip it to, determines if it's a sleeping bag or a sleep suit. Ta-da, look at that. That wasn't as hard as I thought. And it's also, you can see on the back here, it's got really great little grippy feet. So when you're using it as a sleep suit, it's got non-slip grippy things on the back of the feet. So these are a really lovely option. And I like the way the sleeves are not too bulky. They're just a, a nice lighter weight, stretchy sleeve. These come in some really cute designs. And uh, 2.5 or 3.5. In the convertible suits and then just a couple more here's some more just options if you really live somewhere cold and you want a bag with sleeves so wool babe with sleeves uh, we're currently out of stock in the 6 to 24 months but they will be back next week i've got a really small shipment coming by air so look out i think they're actually on has that pre-order come up james you know on the wool babes have a look. Uh, this beautiful Valua number is from Eeny Meeny Miny Mo. We've got these in six different colours and they're just so lush. They're really beautiful. Soft bag. These have a zip along the bottom. 
separate zip along the bottom so if it is a bit warmer you can open that up for some air conditioning and also just a normal zip down the front it's cotton on the inside and with polyester filling so I think this is really super sweet the zip the sleeves don't come off that's just a little trim the wool babes are 6 to 12, 24 months on pre-order pre-order okay so for those of you who've been waiting for pebble colour to come back in if you're quick you can pre-order one of the shipment that's coming next week there's only a few cartons coming so snap those up and then also on pre-order these two beautiful colours of wool babe piha and ocean these are also coming back into stock in about three weeks so we've put those up um, so you can reserve one as well okie dokie i think we better have one more giveaway and then we better wrap it up because otherwise it'll be like blah 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 all afternoon so what else should we give away let's give away a slumber sack so if you'd like to win one of our slumber sacks um you can comment now uh just put the color that you would like so there's um well you can have a little look on the website or there's blue stripe pink stripe aqua stars forest friends there's a rainbow stripe and there's a bubble dot which is like a fire engine oh and a fire engine there's actually quite a few and probably i think one with a pony a pink pony something like that <laughs> anyway if you win you can look at the website at your leisure and choose the design you'd like but if you'd like to win a winter weight 2.5 tog slumber sack just comment now somebody's mentioned those Jammies at the back look gorgeous, the colour. I'm assuming they mean the ocean. Blue. Yeah. I'll get them out for you to have a little closer look. So I don't know if there's many of these left actually. Not that many. Not many. So this is our wool babe pajamas. We're expecting more wool babe pajamas next month in this colour. And also we've got coming these sleep suits. Uh, we have the piha stripe coming in the sleep suit, which we've never had before, and I think they're going to be pretty huge. Just one. I haven't quite got the hanging technique. One more question regarding the sleeping bags. Yes. Um, when to stop using a sleeping bag? Uh, oh, and the second part is what size do they go up to? Hmm. Our sleeping bags go up to size 6 to 10 years, which sounds, some people... <laughs> We've actually had people buy them thinking we meant 6 to 10 months and then they get it, <laughs> it's like it would fit me. Um, 6 to 10 years, so that's for um, sometimes um, parents of children with special needs um, really, really like their children in sleeping bags or some kids just really like sleeping in sleeping bags. So um, yeah, 6 to 10 years um, for the grow bags. Um, other ones like the Ergo Pouch and the Wool Babes go up to a I think the Ergo Pouch is a four to six, um, Wool Babe is a three to six years. So there's lots of options for that um, two to four years or four to six years um, if, you, if your children sleep well in bags. When to stop? Um, I think when they stop sleeping well in a bag is the time to swap. Lots of people transition into a single bed and find that works really well because it's a familiar, you know, the whole sleep association of zipping into the bag less likely to get up and walk around in a bag so yeah lots of people will transition to a bag and then um, move out of a bag if it's becoming an issue with the child standing up and tripping over or walking around in it and that's where something like our fleece suit or the convertible um, ergo pouch is really brilliant for, for your next step after a bag but of the bags we sell probably a third of them are in toddler size, so either a 2 to 4 wool babe or an 18 to 36 grow bag. So there's a lot of kids, a lot of toddlers still in bags. Okay, do we have a winner of our slumber sack? Uh, Freya Nielsen. Freya Nielsen, you win the slumber sack. Woohoo! Now let me just refer to my comprehensive notes. Oh, I just have to mention the underlay. At this point, I might be tempted to lie down and have a little nana nap after a very, very busy week. If you came to see us in Wellington, you will know that it's been a very busy time. It was lovely to meet you all, and now I do need to lie down. <laughs> so this is our sleep stool wool underlay, the reversible one, which I'm sure we've showed you before because we're very proud of it. 
But if you are looking for ways to um, increase how warm your, your child is, adding wool underneath them is a great way to do it. Um, so if you have you know wool bedding, wool underneath, that's the perfect combination. Uh, so particularly if you're using a lighter weight sleeping bag and you're trying to boost up how warm it is without going for a really thick winter bag, you just put some more wool underneath. And these are reversible, so you've got your cotton, the firmer, not fluffy side on, on the back. So if you're using this in a cot with an under six month old, we recommend you have the, the not fluffy surface upwards. Uh, but for six months and over, how plush does that look? Put a sheet over it, but you know, I quite like to just lie down on this actually. Okay, James, any last requests? I think that's uh, I think that's everything. Look, if there's any questions we've missed, we'll try and answer them in the comments this afternoon. Good. Okay, and James has put lots of sleeping bag specials on. James has been um, very busy on our combo deals page. Um, buy a wool babe and add one of these little cuties for ten dollars. So. If you were quick and cunning, you could pre-order a bag that we're out of stock of and get a singlet for 10 bucks. I think I would do that if I was you. Um, and then just on the normal sleeping bag um, section on the website, most of our winter bags have got a special on. Um, yeah, up to, I think, what did you say, up to 25%? Yeah, most are 10 to 15%. 10 to 15, and the Grey Hearts, we've put special deal on for you because we think it's really huge. Uh, yeah, and we'll ask any more questions this afternoon. Thanks for watching.